Welcome to today guys, you've seen a bit of an intro. We're out here, we've got the pen conflict jigging light rod, 40 to 20 grams, 120 grams, paired up with the pen slammer four. We've got the H2O slow jig on, can we make it work? We've never blanked with this lure in about 12 fishing trips, spanning across many years. The H2O slow jig, never missed with it. Can I keep that run going? Like we did yesterday. That video will be coming up on the channel in a couple of days. It's going to be a while to edit that. It was a fishing trip. But I only have a short weather window and everything is against me today, I feel. I know it isn't really, but I had to go to the post office, massive queue in the post office. It literally took me half an hour to get through the queue in the post office. Then I had to get fuel from my van, that was fine. Got here, and this is now all tangled, this rig, so I'm just taking out the packet. I just, I must have missed the turn. I then turned the, the loop three times, I think it was back turned on itself. And now it's windy. And the problem is, is we've only got until, well, I thought we had until one for the wind. Just, where's that wind going? Do not tell me that wind's dropping higher. It hasn't lucky. Um, yeah. So it's not really going very well today. So we're gonna go out, we'll see how we get on. I, I don't know, I'm a bit frustrated. I'm not having a great day. We'll see if we can catch some fish. Maybe make that day a bit better. Oh, why is your waist not doing? Why is the cat go waiting for one time? The cat's badly weighted. Um, shouldn't be anything causing it to be badly weighted, but obviously it is. You can check that as another another point on the list of frustrating things today's today's paddle. Oh. So we're gonna have wind against tide. We're at sea cliff because I wasn't sure it's, it's a neat low. No, it's not. It's a spring low. This is my goal. So we're at sea cliff today. It's a spring low. So I wasn't sure where to come. Seacliff is a really easy launch on spring low. Everywhere else is a bit of a fight to get over the rocks. But given how badly my day is going, this seems like a good place to come. The wind is about, well, it's supposed to be two miles an hour, but that's about seven. Okay, me at the moment, maybe six. So there's gonna be wind over tide. So it'll be a bit choppy. I'm trying not to be too frustrated. It was a blast yesterday and we had a great paddle. Didn't catch many fish. Wasn't really trying to fish, so I was kind of just, we were paddling out to the bass and back. You'll see that video on the channel. It'll take a couple of days to put it together because I want to do something slightly different with it. Um, it was all shot from the chest cam. It's The footage is okay. Um, there's some really nice, my friend filmed some really nice stuff back the way. It was great to paddle around the bass. We had a great time. It's just a bit unfortunate that the uh, um, that I couldn't fish. But you know, I was there with a friend of mine to paddle. I wasn't there to fish. So I did take a rod with me. Did catch some fish, um, but I didn't really give it the best shot. Now my plan for today was to come back out to Seacliff and fish it again. We've got weather coming in at one, two o'clock. It's now ten. It's supposed to be like nine. Like it may even be later than ten now. Probably is a lot later than ten now. Yeah, it's half ten now. It's supposed to be like half nine. I'm running about an hour behind. Um, but that's okay. Except for the fact that the wind seems to have arrived a little bit earlier than forecast. So we'll just see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm a bit frustrated. 
not going to lie. Um, I think that will probably come across quite strongly on the video. Not having a great day. There's no reason for it. I'm just, everything is just not working properly. The kayak isn't weighted right, the, I don't, which I don't know why. Something goes something to do with my wheels on the back. You know, the queue in the post office was really long. Just things aren't going quite right today. Couldn't find mounts for the GoPros, that sort of thing. It's fine, these things happen. We're gonna get out and we're gonna hit a little shelf over here. May have to borrow someone's pot because it drifts a bit quicker than I intended. And we'll just see what happens. I don't know, I'm not feeling very optimistic for any fish because of just how today's gone. But hopefully that all changes and we can catch some fish. If you want to see if we can catch any fish, stay with us, let's see what happens. So I guess my biggest issue with the, the wind is that the drift's going to be a bit quick. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too fast. You'll also have a lot of wind noise on the camera. I'll try and cut that out in post. Let's see what happens today. Like I said, really need to get a fish, I think, to make myself feel a bit better. We're going to paddle out to one of the boys up here. We'll hook on and we'll just see if we can get some fish in. Let's go and see. Let's go and see which way we're going to drift. Have a look. Are they fish? Yeah, there are. There are some fish on the bottom here. So let's drop down. We've got a choice. I've got the no miss lure on. The H2O lure or got some feathers here, uh, some sandy old kind of feathery things. Which are a little tangled, there we go. Got a tip wrap as well. Right, I think I should be drifting that way, so I'm going to drop off this side of the boat. Hopefully you can see everything okay. So these aren't feathers, but they normally are pretty good for macro. The drift is quite quick. That's annoying. Obviously we're at Seacliff. Most of what we pick up here are cod and mackerel. Didn't bring my anchor with me again. Because I'm not really, I'm not really a guy that fishes at anchor, I have to be honest. It's not really my style. I do do it sometimes, obviously. But mostly I like fishing on the drift. It does make a bit harder work though. It's a bit hazy today. Quite a nice day in the grand scheme of things. But it's just a bit of a haze. I'm definitely turning a little bit on the kayak here. Okay, so I think the drift is exactly the way the wind's coming. So that's good, that makes it easier to plan kind of what's going to happen next. There's no structure here at all, I need to come find some structure. I thought I was on some structure, but I must have drifted. I must have just been on the very edge and drifted out over it. Okay, let's go back and see if we can find the structure. It's only a five ounce weight, so I'll not troll them because it'll just would lift up out of the water. So we'll just bring them in. Aha! Here is the shell. Finally, it's sloping down. 13 meters. Fourteen years. I think we finally found the shelf I was looking for. That's taken a while. That's for sure.
Yeah. Right, so there's some structure here. So there's a pot line in front of me, so we'll just stop. I think we'll stop in front of the pots. Rather than going over them. We're now in line with the cardinal boy, which is where I wanted to be. Who's phoning me? Hello? Okay, I've changed my feathers. To some smaller hooks, because I don't think the hooks were quite doing it. <clears throat> Alright, I've changed my feathers to some smaller hooks. I've uh, picked a wee spot that we want to go and have a look at. So we're going to just have a little paddle, see if we can find that spot. And if we can't, then uh, I think we'll have to head in and call it a day, which is a shame. Fishing at Seacliff is totally my like nemesis spot. Just never seems to go well for me fishing at Seagull. There are days when I fished had really good fish out of here, and there are many, many more days where I've blanked. The wind is due to pick up in the next. Must be a fish because it's gone really light. Picked it up and ran up towards me. Nice, got a fish. I'm gonna have to try and keep it. Oh, it's a good fish. Drag a wee bit. I suspect it's probably gonna be a mackerel, but you never know. I just feel a bit bouncy for a mackerel. Like, not as erratic as a mackerel would be, as I've said before. Mackerel feel like small children on steroids. Yeah, it's a cod. It's fairly badly hooked. Oh wow, right in the nose. Uh, hold on, buddy. Let's see if I can get you unhooked. Right on the nose. A little cod on the feathers. Slapped my phone screen. Nice, right. We've caught a fish. I do find fishing here really difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'm gonna drop back down with the feathers. I'm gonna leave the feathers out. And I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna use this slow jig again. Back down with the slow jig. Because the drift was so quick, we've actually changed slow jig. So I've moved to a I've moved to a 120 gram Heim from Sidewinder Lures, the Thor series, which is a lure series I quite like. Although this rod is only rated to 120 grams, and I do find that at the top of the range is a bit bendy. There's a lot of noise on the sounder underneath me. I don't see any parts. Oh, oh fish on. Goose the drag on that. That's pulling. That up. Messing around here. Get that under my leg. Hopefully we haven't lost it. Yeah, we still got it. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Nice. It's got some weight to it, this. I don't know what this is going to be. Feels like a good fish. I don't know what my phone's saying. My phone's talking a lot of nonsense. I can see the fish coming up, though. It's another cod. Doesn't surprise me with the way it put. Oh, it's two cod. It's got over a shoulder cod. Hey guys, great to see you. Now, if you don't mind just hanging out there for a second, we'll get you unhooked and we'll get you back. You first. Jesus. When you look down the mouth of a cod, it's quite scary. If that was like that, that boy that caught the, the PB record, 
The world record, sorry, not the PB. Oh, your hook's going that way, that's why I can't get it wrong. I'm turning it the wrong way. Wait! Sorry, Leo, I'm turning the hook the wrong way. I tell you what, this guy wasn't coming off in a hurry. Still not coming off in a hurry. I've not got my pliers with me, which is a bit of a error. Wait. You're off. Away you go. This one will be easier. Oh god, this one's had a oh wow. This one's had a seal or something. Hit it. It's got a big chunk at the back of it. It's quite an old chunk. You'll not see it on the camera, I don't think. But there's a huge chunk at the back of this fish. Okay. That was a bit exciting. Right, because there's cod down there, I know I said this lure was a bit light, and I still maintain this lure is a little bit too light. But I've got a record to keep now. I said this lure always caught fish. I may have to paddle back over that, at least I know where it is. Finally, found some fish. It's been one of those days. So that's two, three good cod. Right, let's drop down the no miss lure. You can see those fish going back down as well. That's pretty cool. Right. May need to paddle again. Need to tidy up really. It's a bit of a mess here. There were some nice fish as well. Hopefully they came across on the camera, okay? Good fish. Okay, let's go see if we can find that school again. The drift has definitely changed. So instead of drifting diagonally, we're now drifting laterally because the wind's pushing us this way and the tide's pulling us this way. So it's kind of straightening off our drift. Right, we'll just chuck that in there. We're gonna lock that down there. That's not locked. No. Right. Let's see if we can't pick up another fish. If the jig doesn't work, we'll have blanked on it finally after about, oh, maybe like 12 or 15 trips using it. I don't film every single trip I go on, so there are trips where I've used it and caught fish and not filmed it, but I don't think I've ever put this down and not caught a fish. When I say this lure, I mean this brand of lures, H2O slow jigs. 60 grams, 80 grams, I think there's a 100, might be a 120, not sure what the, the high one is. It's not the Aussie, that's the key, there's another one called the OC or the Aussie, I'm not sure what it's called. So they like the little white feathers, because they went for those, they love the little white feathers in the cod. Yeah, this drift looks like it's going the same way, which is good. See if we can't convert this slow jig into a fish. At the start of this video I talked about the kayak being unbalanced as I was getting it into the water. And you can see here that the kayak is really unstable. It turns out there was a bit of water in the bottom. I'm not sure how it got in there. I think it was maybe coming in over the hatch. But it made this section of paddling really, really challenging. I felt that the tide's turned. It's surfing. And I said the, the weight of the boat was a little bit unbalanced. This is where it becomes really evident. When you surf, I might have to call it a day if I'm going to surf like this. Let's have a drop here. There might be some fish here, I think. That was unpleasant. So that's all that is, all that's happened there is that we've gone wind over tide. It's the only thing that's changed in the way that we're fishing just now is that we're now fishing wind over tide. So these waves are a bit bigger. And as I said, you know, we knew that was going to happen and we knew it was going to affect our ability to, to fish out here.
so we may have to call it a day and go in. I've talked about current a lot recently, but there's a, a big current line at the top here. It's a gully with a current line, and that's obviously the waves are going to build higher in the gully. And I think that's what we're in at the moment. Unfortunately, we've got the pen conflict jigging light rod, 40 to 20 grams, 120 grams, paired up with the pen slammer four. We've got the H2O slow jig on. Can we make it work? We've never blanked with this lure in about 12 fishing trips, spanning across many years. The H2O slow jig, never missed with it. Can I keep that run going? Some fish on the bottom here, let's see. Maybe now's the time. And we've also got with us on the feathers. We've got some light feathers. We've tried a few different types of feathers today, but we've got some light feathers. Pen Slammer 2500, 3500, sorry. What's this one? Oh, they're both, they're both 3500s. And the sh ugly stick kayak rod, 12 to 20 pounds. My opinion, one of the best rods you can buy, both of these rods. I think, you know, they both obviously have different jobs, but I would use both of them. If I was gonna break one of these, I'd buy the, well, I've already broken one of these. You'll have seen that video, that was from a few years ago. If not, check out Catching Scotland's Hardest Fish. I'll put a link to it around here. Can't remember what I called the video. It's a new species for me on the kayak, but check that out. Um, I snapped one of these. If you want to find out what that fish was, I'll put a link into the video here. Thank you for joining me. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Just because nothing's happening with that rod, let's throw down this rod. Oh, fish on. Oh, did it go? Did I lose it? Oh, that was a fish, definitely. Oh, well, it still is a fish, I think. Yeah, it still is a fish. Nice. Oh, good. No idea where we... Oh, wow, there's loads of them on the bottom. This must be macro, right? Tighten my drag up a wee bit. There's more than one on here, I think. I think it's a mackerel. I think there's more than one. Oh, it's a massive cod. Oh, no, it's not massive, but... Uh, well, I mean, it is a decent size. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Just to get you unhooked. You've got it right through the nose like the last guy. Wait. Oh, he's just pooped all over me. Great. That's a nice card. Lovely card. And away he goes. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Didn't expect that at all. Oh, I'm stinky though. No, oh. no, oh, it's really stinky. Well, that was a nice fish. I've just tangled up with my sounder. Oh, hey, another cod. I thought this was over, but maybe it isn't. I thought it was over, but maybe. Just maybe it is not the end of the story. Right. This feels about right. Feels like we're maybe a little bit further away than we were. And we have to talk to but... Right, last. Last cast, last drop. Let's go. Uh, I got a, oh god, got a really bad tip out because I just did something stupid. Are we? Let's do one more little one. There we go. And down we go. See if we can't catch a fish on the H2O slow jig to ensure that we've not lost our streak on the H2O slow jig. Because we've got a bit of a streak going and we want to keep that up. Oh, 
Oh, there's some fish in the water here. I have actually. Fish on. Yes! The H2O slow jig that never fails to miss has once again delivered. This is a bouncy fish. I wonder if I might call it as a mackerel this time. I might go for it. I'm going to call it as a mackerel. It's not a mackerel, it's a cod. <laughs> Come on. Do you know what? I've given up. I've obviously not caught fish in enough time, enough recently. One, two, three. Oh, you're not actually that well hooked. Oh, no. Come here, buddy. Another little cod. Nice. And away he goes. And once again, the H2O slow jig catches the fish. Let's work this lure up. Well, happy once again. The H2O slow jig has done the work. I had to do a bit of extra paddling for it, but it wasn't the right conditions to fish it back the way. And obviously when it came the right conditions, we made it happen. We're now drifting the wrong direction. I think it's time to head in because we're actually, oh God, I'm doing that today. Because we're actually making our life harder by sitting here. So we're gonna head in and we may have one more drop on the way in. So used to my paddling, my paddle being underneath me. If this is the end of the video, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. If you like fishing here at Seacliff, check out the Seacliff playlist. And if you want to see more, then uh, come join the channel. Thank you very much. Good day. So this sort of thing really annoys me, right? So there he is there, right? So there's birds nesting on the top of here. Not many, but there are, because that some of this doesn't get covered by the tide. But over on the right here, you can see Tide has not got long until he gets cut off. He's got a dog with him, so he's putting his dog at risk to take a picture of a bit of rock where he's clearly not read the tide because the tide's coming in pretty quick now. Um, we're nearly, we're over past one o'clock, so the tide, the fast flow of the tide will start in the next hour. So it'll rise really quick over the next hour. Oh. I'll go do some education. So I've just seen them crest the hill. Don't know where they've gone. I've walked over here once. Um, there's a big dip. I think they're through the big dip. They've got maybe 20 minutes before that bit there gets covered up. I just saw them a second ago. Oh, here they come. Up and over the top. Yeah, they're gonna make it off, but only just. Only just. Hopefully the dog's getting up the side, okay? They've disappeared again. They've stopped to take some pretty pictures. Yep, definitely the thing to do when the tide's running against you. Look at that. It's not just gorgeous here. This is one of the most beautiful beaches in Scotland. I'm convinced. It's just lovely. What a great day. Well, we've had a good kayak today. Caught some fish. Nearly, nearly missed on the slow jig, but we didn't. We made it happen. 
We're now watching someone get cut off by the tide, which is quite amusing. They're gonna get off, okay, it'll be fine, but I don't think they meant to cut it this fine. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Stuck. I'm assuming it's a man. That's probably unfair. Um, they seem to have accelerated. Looks like they've realized that they're in the process of getting cut off by the tide. They're getting closer. They've definitely got a shuffle on. Pictures are finished. I do feel a bit guilty that I'm filming them, but at the same time. Here we go. I think they've realized they now either need to get wet or go right out to the right. It's really uneven, these boulders as well. I walked over here with no glasses on once. It was, we were going for a free dive off the end. Um, off the end of that point just here rather than the big point at the end. We swam up to the big point at the end. We decided to walk up just to get in the water a bit quicker. I wouldn't do that again. I just swim. It's easier. The rocks are really uneven. Made it up. Final update. They seem to have made it off. We're all good. Some people. Oh well. Hopefully they won't make that mistake again. Every, le every lesson is a learning. Every mistake is a learning lesson. Every lesson is a mistake. Mistake? No. No, that's not right. Every mistake is a lesson. Yeah. Oh, they're off. That's what's important. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, bit of excitement there at the end. See if they were going to get stuck. But, um, you know, we all make mistakes. I've definitely made mistakes. I've gone out in bad conditions. You know, but always check the tides. Really, really important. Please check the tides if you're ever going for a walk on the beach. Take care. Still hot, still roasting actually. Yeti Rambler, great mug. Mm. Right, this is 20 minutes since I got off the water. Um, I've just stopped at the top of Sea Cliff. You can see Sea Cliff down there, the Bass Rock looking small in the distance. But look how windy it is, and it's properly blowing, and it's about to start raining. We came off the water at bang on the right time. Shows you, gotta watch the weather, really, really important. Anyway. I've done about eight intros now, so this one is real. Good night. <laughs>